I went to court today. And no, it's not what you think. <laughs> So, I went to court today, um, it was for an assignment that I had to do for my law and geography course. So, I'll try to post some pictures in my belly about, um, various facts about the courthouse, uh, of the Metropolitan District Court of Albuquerque. One of the I'm not I'm not going to tell you anything about the case or anything like that because it's still going on. And I don't want to incriminate anyone, and maybe some of the people on the jury are watching this. So yeah, I'm not going to say anything about it. All what I will say though is that the uh, courthouse was very very opulent, very nice. I went to the first floor restroom as soon as I went in. It was where Donald Trump would probably take would probably take care of his business as it were if ever he were in Albuquerque the stalls were free of graffiti which doesn't seem to start out like it's different from any other reputable bathroom but when you live when you go to university you realize that Basically every restroom except for the one where the president uh, works is graffitiized. Graffiti, graffiti, graffitiized. This goes along with my stupidest from a couple of days ago. So day eleven. So I was I did say that I was going to go to um, advisement tomorrow morning. That's been changed. I'm going to put that off until. Next Friday, unless I hear back from UAC, University Advisement Center. And if that's the case, then I will try and go when they tell me that I can go. Go. Yeah, so it was exciting. It was interesting. I did feel like I learned a lot at court. Um, one of the things, though... The court apparent the courthouse apparently paid for itself, minus all the property taxes and the cost of the land. Aside from that, it it was paid for itself. So all of the marble, tiling, all of the metal, all of the really nice. I can't be sure if it's mahogany. I'll have to ask Effie Trinket. Never mind. Um. But I'm pretty sure I know what she'll say. Uh, but it was really, really expensive looking inside. And as soon as I went in there, I was wearing khaki pants. Can you see him? Can you see him? Uh, red t-shirt and my green jacket. And I'm like, I'm really underdressed. So there was that. Uh... So, yesterday I made the video about how I'm not entirely sure where I am, so I created the name Morgan Talbert. Yeah. This court case didn't help me. Turns out the judge is from York. Alabama. York, Alabama. So it's near Tuscaloosa. In fact, she got her law degree and her bachelor's degree from Bama. So, roll tide! Also, like most of the people from Alabama here, she doesn't speak with an accent. I used to think that was weird, but then I realized that, you know, even, even when in Alabama, many people didn't speak with an accent. So, there's that. Get to go back at 8 o'clock there. Get to go there 8 I have to be there by 8.30 if I want to catch closing arguments and the verdict. Judge was nice enough to give me your card, so she's like, Yeah, you can call me uh, tomorrow, figure out how the court case went if you can't show up. I thought that was really nice. But, yeah, this place is weird. Also, uh, I managed to get lost downtown without actually getting lost. I managed to find my. I managed to figure out where I was, and I managed to get there, get to the place that I wanted to go. 
It wasn't the courthouse, it was a different place. But I managed to get there by literally turning my head left. Uh, but when, when you're crossing the street in downtown Morgenthaler Burke, they've got these signs that say, look, and I'll post a picture of it here. So as you can see, it has two eyes for the O's, so it's really cute. But yeah, I have no idea where the heck I am anymore, except for Morgan Talbert. It's weird.